Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I've started a very interesting project that I wanted to share with the community. Around a month ago I purchased a 3D printer and the purpose behind purchasing the printer was basically to make TPU parts for my drones. I like drones, I fly drones, um, long range, uh, racing drones and I like the idea of being able to print TPU parts for my drones. However, I came across on the internet uh, websites that have, you know, uh, designs for 3D printed airplanes or wings. Actually, there's an extensive list of websites, some that sell it for a price, some they post, post it for free, and there's even a whole forum on rcgroups.com around 3D printed planes where you can basically uh, download the files and print them on your printer. Uh, this one that you have here is a swept forward wing. I'm still printing parts, so I'm still missing uh, the elevons and the vertical stabilizers. They're being printed right now. Um, but this is turning out to be a very nice and interesting project. That is why I wanted to share it with the community. So let's go ahead and start. I wanted to start by sharing with you what this design uh, you know, uh, comprises and what to expect, what kind of parts you will have. In no way I take any credit for this design. I simply took the design from uh, the person that made the design and posted the files on the internet. I downloaded the files and I printed them on my printer. So let's go ahead and start. As you can see the fuselage here is quite big. You can notice how much space you've got. It comprises or it's made of four different parts. This is the back part it has a place it has a place for four screws in the back where you can basically uh, mount uh, the firewall uh, the designer of this airplane basically made four firewalls uh, for different types of motors so for example the one I printed here is for a 2216 uh, racing motor and then you can basically attach this firewall to the back of this uh, section using screws four screws okay and then uh, it's up to you how you place the parts but basically for me I'm gonna put the ESC here that is why I put a piece I put a piece of wood here I'm gonna basically strap the ESC here even the designer made a very nice addition here where you can see there's a slot so after basically you connect the motor to the firewall you can take the the wires through the slot into the ESC and then the second section is this one. As you can see, they slot in. And this section is basically for the flight controller. So again, it's up to you how you de decide to place the parts. But for me, I'm going to place a, a wing flight controller here in this section. And then the third part is basically for the battery. And again, I stress, I mean, I'm stressing the point that there's a huge amount of space here, you know. Uh, and the last part that slots to this section is basically the nose. And as you can see, there's a there's a, a an, an opening for an FPV camera. I'm intending, or basically my plan is to design is to build this with a DJI digital FPV system. Going to the wings. So the wings are, are basically uh, printed in parts. So we have one, two, three, four, five parts for every wing. You can see that they slot into each other. I've slotted these two parts together. They have holes for the carbon rods. Uh, they take five millimeter and uh, six millimeter carbon rods. So I've slotted them together and I basically glued them together. Uh, there's even a hole here that through which you can, you can route the servo cable. And then there's this section that connects to the wing this way and this this is basically the, um, the servo pocket and the designer has even made servo pocket covers that you can put here. And then uh, the last two sections of the wing are these two. They basically connect to this section like this. Again, you have slots 
that can basically take uh, carbon fiber rods and then you notice that the last section is protruding a little bit up this is because I'm still printing um, the elevon so when I place the elevon uh, on the wing it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna line up with this last part and the designer even was thorough enough to print small slots in the wing so that you can insert flexible joints and uh, use CA glue to basically uh, hold them in place so as you can see here the small slots so I'm currently now printing the vertical stabilizer the vertical stabilizer is going to be between this section and this section here we have two good big vertical stabilizers um, I'm going to print them out, I'm going to print the, the, the elevons on both sides and then I will start the assembly I estimate that the weight, I mean uh, the, the, the weight of this swept forward ring is going to be around 900 grams um, and you have to take special care when you 3D print the wings that you print them in what we call vase mode vase or vase depends on how you pronounce that uh, vase mode basically makes the inside of this wing hollow so it just prints a shell and supports it with a couple of ribs inside but basically this is an empty shell very light um, it requires some knowledge of 3D printing if anybody has questions come to me I'll try to help you out I use Cura Ultimaker Cura Slicer and I have uh, an Anycubic Mega S printer okay so this is the first part of the video in the next part I will start building this airplane I'll show you how I put it together uh, where I put the rods by the way the fuselage has holes for the rods and it has a big hole here to basically root the, the servo cables so I'm gonna basically start building this and uh, that will be my second video I'll build it I'll, I'll show you how it goes together and then um, this the, the last or third video in this series is gonna be about flight so I estimate that if this is like 900 grams dry weight with the electronics and the battery it's going to be around 1500 grams or 1.5 kilograms or 1.6 kilograms so hand launching might be a little bit of a challenge uh, I would recommend bungee launching so I'm going to also make myself a homemade bungee launcher to basically launch this plane uh, the designer of this plane has already printed it and tested it um, with a 22 series motor or with a 23 series motor this is going to be like around 200 plus kilometers per hour uh, wing uh, I'm not an expert with airfoils but you, you can see here the airfoil that he basically worked on it's a very thin airfoil I think it's gonna basically generate or basically help with flying this wing at, at high speeds so thank you basically for for watching this video I'm gonna post down in the description um, the link on Thingiverse where I downloaded the files so that if anybody's interested he can go ahead and download the files uh, if you like this video if you like what you see if you like the information that I'm presenting please do click on like and subscribe thank you very much and um, looking forward to posting the second video of the build